So if we think about it, getting anything done in business involves a sequence of tasks or many different types of tasks with a lot of feedback loops and activities going off in all directions, of course, resources being spread across them as well. Um, and as we move forward in terms of technological innovation, more and more of these tasks, more of, more of the kind of resource distribution, that gets automated. And so the jobs of the various individuals and the teams, they change, they shift their measurements, their, the way that they are actually driven and the way they are organized in terms of um, businesses and different types of organizations, that changes. And so the capability of the individual and of the teams, that actually elevates. And of course, as we elevate through automation, we also take on the capability to take on new tasks and uh, learn new things and uh, build new businesses and see things that maybe we didn't see before. So this is what really inspires me, really, really gets me um, driving in terms of my thoughts about how and where generative AI is going to take us over the coming years, coming couple of years, actually, because I think we're, you know, we're in this key transition point where quite a few organizations are figuring out exactly what they can do. They realize that their business has now got access to um, a lot of cheap technology that's very easy to uh, deploy. It's very easy to deploy because it's easy to understand. It's easy to interact with because of this human interface, these chat interfaces. And also behind, because of the reasoning behind that and the simplicity with which that you, you can generate these kind of feedback loops and these dialogues with these systems and, and how that can actually help individuals, teams and whole businesses really transform what they're doing and actually spot new opportunities as well. So you get this kind of feedback, you get this dialogue with the system and, and you start having a very different kind of interaction with your business processes as well as your customers and your partners, of course. And of course, the, the cost of doing all of this, of shifting to this um, new kind of paradigm of uh, generative AI powered business processes, it's, it's a lot lower than one might have expected it to be, actually. And of course, what that means is that you can then start visualizing use cases and opportunities for, for new growth opportunities as well. Um, but for me, the three key takeaways of what's going on at the moment are, are really that baselines are going to continue to shift. So we're seeing new technologies, new generative AI capabilities in terms of content creation, in terms of uh, automating actions and entire workflows, tools and capabilities. They're all converging and um, they're being released into the market on almost a daily basis. And that's... Um, providing huge opportunity for us as users and organizational designers um, to actually do a lot more with them for a lot lower cost. So um, I would say number key, key point number one is that baseline for running our business, the assumptions on which we build our business, those baselines are going to change. So every three to six months, you're going to see massive shifts in terms of assumptions of what we can actually do next. I would say that the next key thing is, of course, that capability to visualize what is possible um, based on where we are now, where we will be in six months, and also where the customers are, where the um, competitors are uh, evolving towards as well, and uh, also the, the skills and capabilities and of our individuals and our teams um, and different resources that we're actually utilizing in the execution of our business, that's all going to change as well. So baseline assumptions around all of our people. One of the most important things is to not let naysayers slow you down. So people who are resisting the technology, we have to, of course, help them develop their understanding and their capability in terms of what these generative capabilities can do for us. Um, and for those individuals and those teams that are willing to take the challenge and willing to learn, I think there's a huge opportunity and we bring them along uh, with us and um, develop new um, career paths and new capabilities as generalists can become specialists and specialists can become generalists, not hanging on to the tasks that we were doing pre, say, November 2022 before um, this, this chat explosion really happened. So 
Those are the three key takeaways from this quick chat. Visualization is so easy to visualize new business opportunities. Baselines are going to keep changing, going to keep shifting. So we have to keep understanding where we are in three to six months and building from that as well with the new capabilities, new skills that we've acquired, new capacity that we've released. And also don't let these naysayers slow us down. Well, if you like what you hear, please like and subscribe and I'll be back with more videos on uh, the implications of generative AI in organizational development from the Nordic Woodshed.